The Mars 2020 mission is the first step of a very ambitious mission, the Mars Sample Return Mission, which is uh, the grail of planetary science. Its aim uh, is to bring back samples from Mars to Earth in order to analyze them, with the intention of finding if life ever happened uh, on Mars. In order to do that, the rover 2020 Perseverance will land uh, in the lake bed, in an old lake bed uh, at, a, at, a, at a delta, uh, which is named G0, and will uh, sample various rocks along its way uh, in order to put them in some uh, metallic cylinders and just like a, a little sum rover, will let them behind. In a second step, maybe in a five, uh, ten years from now, uh, uh, another rover will come and fetch these uh, samples and bring them back to Earth. In order to select the samples that will be brought back to Earth, uh, the Perseverance rover embarks seven payloads. Uh, among them, SuperCam is the one on which uh, Isaiah Superhero has been working. SuperCam is a result of a work of a big consortium involving the Los Alamos National Laboratory, IRAP, or nearby, uh, the nearby lab, uh, and a wide consortium of French labs uh, under the umbrella of CNES and CNRS. The SuperCam payload is a kind of a Swiss knife of a geology. It allows to remotely analyze uh, with the aim of a laser, the uh, composition of rocks. With the, the laser that we see here, it uh, vaporizes the rocks at a distance up to 7 meters, and then the telescope behind the laser uh, analyzes the composition of the rocks. In order to help the analysis of these rocks, Isao Superhero has implemented a microphone. The microphone is a very simple experiment that will help to determine if the rock that is uh, selected is hard or is soft, because the noise of the laser will be different for hard or, or soft uh, Rocks. Sound propagation is quite rare in the solar system, as it requires an atmosphere. We know the case of the Earth, but Mars also has an atmosphere, a tiny atmosphere, where sun does propagate. But it is a bit more complicated than on Earth. The carbon dioxide molecule that composes the Mars atmosphere vibrates such a way that it drastically attenuates sounds over short distances. For instance, if we had this conversation on Mars, we wouldn't hear anything. The SuperCam microphone will be the first microphone to operate at the surface of Mars. So the goal of my PhD was to determine what kind of science it will do and how precise it will be. So that's why we had, we had to calibrate the microphone here in the laboratory to better understand future Mars data. It's not an easy way to perform sound experiments here in the laboratory in simulated Martian conditions and proper acoustic environment. That's why we use such a facilities, an anechoic room, that uh, avoid echoes and sound perturbation from the exterior. We also conducted test campaigns in a big Martian chamber in Denmark to calibrate the microphone with respect to wind speed and orientation. Finally, we built a reference sound library that will be used in comparison with future Mars data to interpret them. Hearing is a new sense that will help to better understand the red planet. After the success of the Inside to Mars mission, this is the second time that Isaiah Superhero is involved in a major NASA Mars mission. We are very proud of that and we are very proud with the whole team of engineers, scientists, PhD students and our graduates that have helped us to build this small part of hardware. This will be the first time ever that we will record the sounds of the Mars planet and uh, we will get the first results likely end of February. Rendez-vous for these first sounds of Mars at this time.